各位朋友，各位在耶稣基督里的弟兄姐妹，你们好。这里是美国波士顿地区的关注学术使命平台“贵州的器皿”栏目，我是主持人马可。今天是美国加拿大的东部时间， 2 0 2 1年8月7号，礼拜六上午九点。中国北京时间2021年8月7号，礼拜六晚上九点。今天我们请到，嗯，肯尼斯·昂特博士为我们提供一个讲座，讲座的题目是《如何理解启示录》，圣经的启示录。好，下面我们把时间交给昂特博士。OK， can you can。Start. All right. So we're looking. At, let's go to the first slide. Yes. Thank you.、Um, the, one of the best ways to understand the Book of Revelation is to understand that is it is the finish that starts with Genesis. So Genesis, the first book of the Bible, it says in the beginning, and Revelation describes the end. Okay.、So, Uh, uh, so, no. let me translate. 如果希望理解圣经中的启示录，我们需要知道，呃，启示录是圣经的结束，圣经的开始是创世纪，创世纪作为圣经的开始，启示录作为圣经的结束。OK. The theme of this presentation is. That the, while the Book of Revelation is written for a different time and、uh, culture, it is built upon the language and usage of that time and that culture. And if we understand that, then we can understand Revolution. Revelation. 呃，本次讲座的主题是启示录，圣经的启示录。我们需要知道，需要明白，圣经的启示录是在当时的时间。文化环境中所写的，那么它的语言用法也反映了当时的时间、时代和当时的文化。明白了这点就比较容易。OK， 呃、uh, ，Our culture, almost every culture, has a story of beginning and ending. And in our culture today,、uh, we lean on science, and science tells us that the world will eventually end. In the great heat death, 所有的文化都有自己的故事啊，都有自己的说法，就是关于如何世界的开始，不是世界的结束。那么如今我们在美国，呃，是科学说了算，大家依靠科学的解释，说明了世界最后的结局就是叫做热。热死亡嘛，热极，热极尽死亡。What that means is that all the universe will assume the same temperature. They call that the heat death. 也就是说，整个宇宙的每个地方的温度都是一样的。呃，他们把这个称为一个热死亡，热极。And and that makes people think about what is the purpose. Of the universe, what is the purpose of my life? Because it will all dissolve in the end. 因此呢，人们根据这个科学理论呢，在思考，就是我们生命的意义，这个世界的意义，因为最终是要全部消化掉，结束，消亡。And so, a philosopher and scientist like、uh, Bertrand Russell, he said <coughs> that everything that you do will be destroyed. Doesn't matter what it is that you accomplish, it will dissolve. It will be done with. 数学家和哲学家罗素曾经说过，不论你做什么事情，有什么样的成就，到最后都将消亡、消失、消化。Okay. The beginning in the Bible, the book of Genesis, is <coughs> that God, outside of creation, outside of the universe. He created the universe, and he said it was good, very good. And he created man and woman, and he communicated with them, and he walked with them in the Garden of Eden. 
上帝在创世纪里，圣经的创世纪，圣经第一书说明了，上帝创造天地万物，上帝是在创造的事情，是在创造物里之外，啊，他创还创造了人类，啊，他还在伊甸园里与亚当夏娃同行。So modern man, postmodern man today, think that man is the highest being, the the highest、uh, life form. But the Bible says that there are other dimensions that God has created, and in those dimensions there are angels and demons, and most importantly, there's a war in heaven.、Mm-hmm. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just、uh, took it off. In the book of Genesis, we see Adam and Eve, and they're happy in the garden. Yes. In Eden, we see Adam and Eve, and they're happy in the garden. And then suddenly, a new creature comes from outside of the creation. And then we suddenly see a new creature from outside of the creation. And then we suddenly see a new creature from outside of the creation. And then we suddenly see a new creature from outside of the And he speaks to them from one of God's creatures that He created on the earth, a snake. 并且通过上帝创造的另外一个创造物蛇去说话。And God had put men as free human beings with a free will, and they could choose to obey God and be happy and have all the blessings that God was going to give them. 上帝创造了人以自由意志。人们可以做自我选择。刚才他上面说的话，我想起来了。他说：“现在在后现代主义的文化中，在现在属于后现代主义的时代，人们认为人类是这个世界最高形态的生命。啊，事实上，《创世纪》告诉我们，上帝在不同的空间创造了不同的生命，啊，创造了不同的受造物。OK， he did not create robots. That had to like program to say to God, "I love you."、Uh, if you have a relationship with another person,、uh, you just don't want them to to like a recording to say, "I love you" or "I care about you." You want them to actually do it. And so God gave them a a rule: don't eat of this one particular tree. The Lord is not just creating a machine. 机器人放个程序，让机器人对上帝说“我爱你”。嗯，上帝，而且是上帝是创造的人啊，是自由意志的人。呃、啊，把他们放在伊甸园里，并且告诉他们：“啊，你们不可以吃这个分辨善恶树的果实。” Okay. The appearance of the devil, that that serpent, in our in our world, showed that there was a war. In heaven, a revolt in another dimension against God. Eden 园出现的蛇，就等于告诉我们，啊，在我们世界，在不同的空间里，就发生了征战。And the the, the serpent,、uh, the devil, through the serpent, asked Eve, "Has God really said that you shouldn't eat of this tree?" And she started out good. She said, "Yes, that's what He said." 魔鬼通过蛇去诱惑夏娃，说：“上帝岂是真的这样说吗？”呃，夏娃回答：“是的，上帝是这样说的。” Okay. But like arguing with a child,、uh, Satan was much smarter than she was, and he convinced her to disobey God that there would be a great, greater good come of it. 但是，呃，撒旦呢，魔鬼呢，通过这个蛇诱惑夏娃。他比夏娃要要聪明，他就说服了夏娃，意思是如果你吃这个果实，会有更大的好处。Yes. God had said the penalty was death, meaning separation from God. 上帝说明了，如果吃那个分辨善恶树的果实，结局就是死亡。这个死亡就意味着与上帝隔绝。Separation from an absolute. Truth. So it's interesting to note 
Adam, Eve, and the devil, they all blame somebody else for what had happened. God asked Adam, what have you done? And he said, oh, the woman, the woman gave it to me. It was the woman's fault. And the woman blamed the devil. And the devil blamed God. And that is what people do today. How can a good God make a world where there's evil in it? So it must be God's fault. Now we must understand clearly that these are not scientific truths or proofs. But it uses poetic language. We can explain our feelings and our emotions and truths that are not numbers added up much better with symbols and uh, uh, analogies and so forth. Uh, but uh, we, we don't go, we, we, we use our imagination to express these kinds of ideas, poetry. And Revelation is a hard book to understand if you do not understand <coughs> the symbols and the, uh, the metaphors that are used right beginning with Genesis. 那么启示录这本书呢，实际上难以理解。如果我们不能理解其中的比喻，其中的符号性的表达，啊，就正如是在创世纪前两章的这些符号性的一些表达，也有比喻性的表达。那么是我们是非常难以理解、难以明白启示
the, the glue, the, what, what held the Roman Empire together was that everybody had to recognize Caesar as the highest authority. And the, the problem was that the book of Revelation uh, was regarded as treason by the Roman authorities because it said Jesus is Lord, not Caesar. I think in every culture we have the same problem even today where the highest authority is not the state or the political theory that, this, that, that, the, that works with the state. Uh, but if we say as Christians, Jesus is Lord. So what do men without the Bible use as the basis, the foundation of their law? It's like economics, political, religious, you know, various religions, and the use of force. None of, none of these things love me. God offers me love. So the various religions, the various political, uh, economic uh, ideas, they don't talk about my value except as something within the system. But I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship directly to the creator as a Christian. So we, we people without the love of God uh, and the reborn that we have a new soul that God gives us, uh, they, they go, go uh, looking for uh, uh, knowledge, but knowledge is not personal. So basically in today's culture, uh, we think of information, we're seeking knowledge. And uh, the, uh, the problem with it is uh, it, do it doesn't satisfy our soul. It doesn't, it doesn't get us beyond death. Uh, it doesn't uh, get us uh, to, uh, to where we are loved. Uh, we, we are just single, people, single beings in, in, a, in a strange world, lost. Now, God gave a promise to Adam and Eve that he would remake the world. He would save them from, from uh, the terrible thing that they did. 
and he would send uh, uh, one who would crush the head of Satan and, and destroy the evil that he brought to this world. So uh, we look for knowledge. Um, and uh, here's a quote from Bernard of Clairvaux from the 12th century. Why do we look for knowledge? What good is knowledge if it doesn't answer our, our questions? Uh the Bible teaches that the foundation of the world is personal. It's a person. It is God. God is a being. God is not information. So, so these are some of the reasons that uh, Bernard de Clairvaux uh, in the 12th century said some people seek knowledge for the sake of knowledge. He says, that's just curiosity. Look at all the books behind me here. They're, they're all going to be gone one day, you know, and, and all the opinions yelling from the books, you know. Uh, so that's curiosity. Others seek knowledge so that they may themselves be known. That is vanity. So uh, look at me. I have a degree. Uh, look at me. People say oh, I'm smarter. Look at me. Uh, you know, so the vanity is one of the reasons. But still others who seek knowledge in order to serve and edify others. And he says that is charity. Charity is an English word, old English word for love. So what's the first uh, word for the... So, some seek for knowledge, for the sake of knowledge. Yeah, what's that? It's, it's called... It's, it's curiosity. Called... Curiosity. They just want to know. Oh, curiosity. Okay. Uh, so we, we are called as God's children. Um, it is very, let go, go to the next slide, I guess. So, yeah. Um, it's very important to understand what God has given us, his children in the Bible. I note that he does, he does call us his children. And go, go again. Next slide. Right. In other words, we still don't know everything. We're not adults. We're children. And that's one of the things that we need to know. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 through 3, there are comments on knowledge and unity and not human wisdom, but God's wisdom with power, and we have the mind of Christ. So what, what we get without the Bible is knowledge, but it, it, it's a mystery. We don't understand it. Uh, for instance, Eugene Wigner, who was a Nobel Prize winner in physics, he said he wrote a famous paper called the unreasonable effectiveness of mathematics in the natural sciences. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I totally 
Well, I'm sorry, mean, I, I did. I just stayed up whole night. That's why. That's right. I, when you spoke, I forgot the right way. Could you repeat uh, what you yeah, said? A famous physicist. Just his name is Wigner. And okay, you know, you know, a famous physicist. He said, "He said it's strange that mathematics is to be found not just in our minds, but in nature." 就是非常奇怪的是，呃，我们不仅头脑中数学表现在我们头脑中，数学也反映在这个自然界里。And he even describes it as mysterious, and uh, and even even a miracle, though he doesn't mean a miracle, uh, something bordering on the mysterious, and and there is no rational, no logical explanation for why we have, uh, why why it, it works so well. Why mathematics works so well when we look at nature.它用这个非常神秘的事情，啊，是一个奇迹啊，用理性出发解释的，啊，例如为什么数学能够如此美好的能够运能够是运用于自然界，就是自然界能够表现啊，从数学的一个精密吧。So we don't understand how mathematics can can. Correspond to nature. It's a mystery. So we can understand why mathematics and science can have such a good correspondence. This is a very mysterious thing. We cannot understand it. And uh, Albert Einstein said, "Albert Einstein said the eternal mystery of the world is its comprehensibility that we can understand it." And uh, he said. It's it's a the eternal mystery of the world is it's comprehensible that we can understand it through mathematics. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can can I ask Joshua to translate? Um, my mind is just like other work. I sit up for the whole night. Just sure. moment. Uh, Joshua. Joshua, and tell me. Joshua, you can unmute me. Hello. Hi, Joshua. Joshua. That's fine. Okay, I will continue. Yeah. Could you see that again? Well, the, my, some of the best scientists, physicists in the world say it borders on a miracle. It's almost like a miracle that mathematics when we look at nature, we see mathematics. We see order. Yeah, these famous scientists and scientists say, "When you look at nature, you can see that this is a miracle. It's a very mysterious thing. That nature can perfectly reflect the nature." Oh boy. Just the minute. This idiot is too scared. Running the saw next door. Okay. Guys running the chainsaw next door. So unless we want to hear him cutting down trees, I had to close the window. Uh, in 1 Corinthians. Uh, yeah, 1 Corinthians. Christ is the wisdom of the world. Chapter, chapter 1, verse... 18 for the message of the cross that Christ fixed things for us he offered he paid the penalty for us see for those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God so the solution to all men's problems it's not economic it's not political it's not you know making the world a better place and so forth it's uh, the power of God in individuals remember in John chapter 3 uh, verse uh, 16, I believe, uh, Jesus said to the Pharisee who came to visit him, Do you, don't you know you must be born again? Jesus used that. We, we, it's not a touch up. It's not a just screw something onto a man and, and now, he's, now he's better. No, you need a whole new life. Um. 
uh, so first Corinthians, right? Yeah, just you know, read. These are these are all themes that, that have the knowledge. Uh, there there are uh, various themes that we should look at. Knowledge, unity. Yeah, yeah, we mentioned this already. Yeah. Okay, good. So uh, let's then go to uh, the next one. Like any document, we have to ask questions about it. Uh, what does it actually claim? Well, it claims to be not from John, but from Jesus to John to be passed on to the Christians in the seven churches. And it also describes the end, the final war in heaven brought to earth and then the final judgment. Okay, Ken, how about you, you speak just one sentence, then I translate. I cannot follow the whole uh, paragraph because my memory is too bad. Okay, I'll no, stay sure. up. Yeah. So each sentence, okay. then I translate. That would be good. Yeah. All right. So that's what it claims. It claims that it's a message from Jesus, who is now in heaven. Okay, And what is the setting? When and where was it written? In, it was written in, in a vision to John, the apostle. And he was told several times in the vision, write this down and give it to me. 所以这是通过给使徒约翰的一个意象而启示他的告诉约翰要把这个意象写下来记下来。Yes. So what is the book as a whole, the whole unit of the book about? It's about the ending. Genesis tells us the beginning. Revelation tells us how the world will end. And then there will be a new heavens and a new earth. 所以启示录的 就是说明了，它的主题就是说明了这个世界的末日，啊，正如创世纪说明世界的开始，所以启示录的主题主要是关于这个世界的结束末日。Yes. So we in the book of Genesis we meet the spirit of God who forms the earth and creates in seven days. 在启示录在创世纪里我们看到上帝的圣灵。now, people who don't understand that it's poetic language, that it's symbols, often, they say, oh, it had to be a literal seven days. Because the Bible says so. But personally, God can do anything he wants. He's created all of, all of the world, the nature and so forth. And so, yeah. He could create it all in a second if he wanted to. The example I used to use with my college students was uh, paper bags, brown paper bags. We're familiar with those when we go shopping. And they are measured by weight. And I said, God could put 10 pounds in a five pound bag if he wanted to. Uh, so what did it mean to the original readers? So in the so, 
we know that they were under great persecution. And yes, go ahead. 我们知道那个时候，呃，大对基督徒逼迫非常严重。And so God gave this message to John to give to them. And we see in the letters to the seven churches certain themes: hold on, be faithful, you will be rewarded, and there will be judgments too. You could lose some reward. You could,、uh, you know, you'll lose the church, and then the church will die out. So, 上帝呢就通过使徒约翰，嗯，把这个信息传达给他们，啊，传达给七个教会。因为是在逼迫期间，所以呢，他们在启示里特别说明了要啊忠心啊，对上帝忠心，因为你可以忠心的得到奖赏，如果不忠心呢，会失去奖赏。Yes. See, the Bible says that there are more dimensions the, than the, just the physical world. 所以圣经啊，启示录也谈到了有不同的空间。不同的世界，不只是我们现在看到的物质世界。嗯、um, ，The message to the churches that Christ appears in great power and glory to John is that he's now in control. He has defeated Satan, and to hang on, to be faithful, and that you will be re rewarded. 说耶稣基督在大能的荣耀中向约翰显现，呃，就说明了要忠心，要坚持，这样就会受到奖赏。So with science today that just says the only thing that's real is the material world, they have no notion of a supernatural world with other beings. 所以现在科学认为这个世界就是纯粹物质。没有什么超自然的东西，更没有超自然的这种神灵。Okay, uh, next, next slide. Um, so we will see in the Genesis, in in, in、uh, Revelation, there'll be a new heaven and a new earth, and、uh, our part in a new eternity. In the Book of Revelation, is mentioned. 是在启示录中谈到了新天新地，也谈到了我们新的永恒。So we will never taste death. 所以我们永远不会尝到死的滋味。See, that's a way of saying it. With taste, we're not going to actually taste anything physically. But you say taste as a as a analogy, as a symbol. 例如说，不能。不会尝到死的滋味，这就是一个比喻了，啊，就是一个符号式的表达，啊，并不是说真正的去品尝了。It's poetic language， 是诗歌般的语言。So, um, I put a couple of little poems here that、uh, some physicists, different famous physicists, wrote, and.、Uh, Why don't you read, Mark? Why don't you read the first one? There was a man. Okay. 这里这里有有几个著名的物理学家，他说的写的诗歌呢，我放在这里。那这边也有一首说，啊，有一个人他有非常了不起的看见，啊，他的他的视视力非常好，视野非常好，他能看见前边，但是呢，也啊，他能看见前面，也能看到后边。但是呢，从旁边来了个车，把他撞了。所以这个诗歌意思就是说，有一个人视力很好，他既能看到前面，也能看到后面。然而有一个车从侧面过来，把他撞倒了。Yes. Did you read the second one too? No. Okay.、Uh, let me let me just explain.、Um, we know what infinity means. A digit is a number. Yeah. And a fidget is a is an old English word. Just means you're you're not、uh, you're not comfortable. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 有一个年轻人，呃，是三者一位的一者
呃，他能够解出啊、呃、无限不循环、无限不循环的偏方根吧，能够解出来。嗯、呃，但是呢，就是数字能让他很疲乏，所以呢，他就放弃了数学。那解披上的神神性。So these are things that physicists are thinking about now. That is there more than just numbers, just mathematics?、Uh, so they 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 realize that、uh, there there should be more. And so there's one fellow at the end here. He he took he gave up math and took up divinity, took up the、uh, you know Christianity. 所以这些科学家呢，他们写这些诗歌的目的就在于，就是说，我们是否知道所有的东西，啊，是否有超越这个物质世界的，呃，的世界吧？就是否有超自然的东西 ？OK， the next slide. Yeah. Now, we claim to be materialistic and rational. And、um, we can think of many dimensions below us. We can even think of space aliens, but、uh, they're all they're forced. We are forces so small that、uh, that we we really can't have any answer for death, either ours or the universe. Um, we are so sorry to be lost. Could you see this sentence by sentence? Just, just read the sentence. It seems strange to me. Oh, okay. That this let me read a sentence. Ah, he said, "For me, it is quite strange. Ah, a material, a belonging to nature, can think, can think, and can see many dimensions." 物理学家和这个理性的人，还有唯物主义者。Okay, so um, but we really can't have don't have any answer for for death, ours or the universe. Only wishful theories. Perhaps the latest one is transhumanism. I don't know if anybody has heard of that, but that's getting big. 所以呢，就是说，才即使尽管我们就是。就是科学这个实验都是科学人，但是我们却无法回答关于死亡的问题，无法回答关于我们自己、关于这个宇宙的呃终极问题。我们只是有一些嗯一厢情愿的幻想式的理论，呃，最后呢，还现在有出现了，就是这个叫做。就是呃、啊，新人类吧，新人种吧，就是这个新最我们现在最新的一个知识理论叫做新人类，啊，也许这个人能够成功这个理论。So perhaps we can fix people, uh, get to humans 2.0, uh, by newly creating DNA. Just 这个新人类的意思就是说。我们能够呃改造人，通过通过基因，通过基因，通过 DNA 能够改造人，能够造出新的人类来啊！这就是这个最新的新人类的理论啊！现在这个理论是非常时髦的，影响力也越来越大。Yes. That's a vision that, that many scientists have today. It's called the singularity omega point when、uh, the new humans will appear and take over the earth. 所以这就是现在许多科学家所抱的一个理想，所抱的一个盼望，就是呢，通过基因改造产生新的人类。他们把这个新的人类作为叫做呃终极的起点，终极的起点就是说人类已经到终点了，那终点呢又有一个起点。It, it seems that no economic, political,、uh, material answer can change men. So that they love each other, so that they behave, so that there's not evil in the world.、Uh, 
I, I suggest the book to you, Jason, Jacob Schatzner, Transhumanism in the Image of God, just recently published. So, um, I raised the possibility of dimensions and beings above, in quotes, you know, above angels, demons, and the devil, and God. So um, we have rejected all that because as a culture, because we just believe in uh, logic and material. So Richard P. Fe Feynman, Feynman um, in his book, The Meaning of It All, he was one of the founders of modern physics. And then we can you can read the quote that he said. Okay, 他说他是现代物理学的奠基人。他说，我们在科学中所谈的所有的事情，所有的理论、结论，都是不确定的，因为他们只是结论而已。这结论都是出自于一些猜测，呃，认为他们会这样发生的。但是你其实并不知道会到底会怎样发生，因为你还没有创造出一个最为完全的实验。Okay, we can never do the complete experiment. Um. I used to ask my students, what will happen if I hold up a pencil in the air with two fingers and drop it? What will happen? Will it always go to the ground? The answer is we don't know. And we can never know because of our finite minds. We have limited finite minds, uh, finite time, finite data. We can't run this simple experiment every time possible in the past, the present, or in the future to be certain. So we are limited people, who 呃，这些科学家呢，和现在的这些理性主义或者物质主义者，他们对于研究这个比我们低的维度的这些事情，就是相对来说他们比较在行。但是呢，呃，所以就是导出他们一个结论嘛，说人我们最后要有一个新型人类的一个转变嘛，就结合一些 DNA 的技术。呃，这个方向上实际上是从往下这个低维度的方向去研究的。嗯，但是呢，他们可能没有呃更多的考虑这个往上的维度，就是所谓的天使啊，所谓的上帝啊，所谓的魔鬼的这些事情。嗯，所以当他们没有考虑这些事情的时候呢，实际上就是很有局限性的。所以他后面举了一个例子，当这个呃科学家说我们要呃去了解所有一切的时候呢，他们实际上现在是实验科学嘛，所以实验科学的就是不断的重复呃重复一个实验，但这个。实验，比如说，呃，你把一个东西扔下去，它它每次得出的结论可能都是，呃，掉到地上。但是即使是这样呢，也不能保证下一次就是将来它一定也是同样的结果。所以这就是呃，这种往下研究低维度的这种模式或者这种实验科学的有限性。Yeah, yes. Okay, where did you start? Uh, I think I stop uh this slide. Yeah, end of this slide. Okay. Uh, so go, let's go to the next slide. Um, there, those are a couple of books that I think are uh, might be of interest. Uh, there's some some pretty uh, impressive uh, uh, people. I mean, uh, from Oxford University and so forth. Uh, and uh, so you you could see that 
scientists, whether they're Christian or not Christian, are struggling with these ultimate questions that science does not enter, answer, does not answer. Uh, uh, okay. Now I have a sentence here that is very important, and I wanted to just add a couple words to it, and that is, so we see that science is a statistical partial measurement of matter and energy in motion over a limited amount of time. 嗯,就是下面有句话,他说实际上呢,科学呢是某种统计,用某种统计学的方式来处理这个运动和能量,它是这种就整体的一个总结吧,对于科学的总结。We don't really speak anymore in a higher uh, uh, higher science of proofs, absolute proofs. We speak of recognized, repeatable, repeating patterns, but we can never be sure that the next time we try it, something different will come up. So, the yeah, these are these are metaphysical questions. I, we don't know what matter and energy really are, and where did they come from? One famous scientist said, "Well, the world both came together because of gravitation." Okay, what caused gravitation? 对，所以这是个形而上学呃的问题，就科学家解决不了。就是当他们研究这些能量、这些物质的时候，他并不能回答这些能量物质到底是什么，并且他们从哪里来。So um, many scientists are religious, but they do fine scientific work because they realize the limits of science. 很多的科学家自己也是有宗教信仰的，因为当他们做这些科学研究的时候，发现了科学的有限性，所以他们产生了一些呃宗教情怀。And they they find the answers uh for for these metaphysical questions for questions that science and math can't answer, uh in in uh come they find comfort in religion. 对，当他们呃发现科学并无无法解答。这些形象上学的生命从哪里来啊？类似的这些问题的时候，他们就会转而呃寻求宗教上的帮助。So I would point you to Alistair McGrath. He's a, a professor of science and religion at Oxford University in England. And he wrote a book, "The Big Question: Why We Can't Stop Talking About Science, Faith, and God." It's very interesting. 对，这是呃，这 Alistair 啊，这是一个。科学家,他是在牛津大学,他写了一本书,他说有一个很大的问题,就是我们为什么不能停止来谈论科学信仰和上帝,他是这个科学方面也是宗教学方面的牛津大学的教授,所以这是个很有意思的话题。So I would also, in the next, uh, next slide, uh, I would also uh, ask you to look at the, the Gospel of John, Chapters 14, 15, and even 16, where uh, uh, the Lord, uh, where, where John talks about the limits and what we have. Uh, 我们来看那个下一个PPT,就是我们来很快的看一下约翰福音14,15,16章的一些内容. Uh, so, the Christian church after Christ had gone to heaven and risen, he came back again in great power. He came as an image of great power. And he came with a message that it was okay, he's still in control, and the world will end. So, 
Yes. Now, now um, so the risen Christ appears with a final message, final ending message. Now, um, one of the things that Solzhenitsyn, that Alexander Solzhenitsyn said was about the Russian revolution where like 60 million people perished uh, in that form of Marxism, uh, which really became gangsterism. Um, he, uh, he said the reason why all those people died was because we forgot about God. Uh, sorry, uh, who, who said that? Uh, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, the Gulag Archipelago, he wrote that. Uh, 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 now, I, I do not feel free to criticize really Russia or China or anybody else, but I do feel free to criticize the Christians in the West. And I have here uh, at least six things that have weakened the church of the West, of which I am a part. 对，呃，我我不会来批评啊中国和俄国的一些状况，但是我呃确实会来批评一些这个西西方欧美教会的一些问题。The enlightenment which came in the West was the idea that reason would get us to truth, reason would get us to correct living, and prosperity, and love. 这个西方的启蒙运动呢，实际上带来一个非常重要的观念，就是，呃，人的理性带来真理，带来真相。So so much explanation of the gospel in the West is based on that principle that if we can prove to them that the gospel is true, if we can show evidences or logical reasons. I don't believe that that is true. 所以在这种啊启蒙运动啊带来的理性之上的这种运动当中呢，呃西方呃对于这些福音的解释就有很多解经书吧，他们试图用呃逻辑用这个证明的方式，用这个理性解说的方式来证明上帝的真理，呃所
God has to give people the grace of new life first. 呃，刚才是谈到，呃，谈论到第一个问题，我们来谈第二个问题。第二个问题就是阿米涅。阿米涅，我认为他最错误的一个基基准的点，就是他认为在一开始的时候是人选择了上帝。我并不这么认为。我觉得，在一个灵性死亡的人来说，他是没有能力去来选择上帝的。Yes. See, I think the Holy Spirit is creating all through the history of the world. <coughs> He is creating. In the minds and in the hearts and in the souls of sinful men, the truth of the gospel. So I think this is the Holy Spirit's work. The Holy Spirit has been working in history. He is the spirit of man, the spirit of the spirit, the spirit of the spirit. This is actually a new creation. Sometimes it's called Calvinism, but it's just because Calvin, in his Institutes of the Christian Religion, put forward that position. That God chooses us. 呃，所以我我认为是上帝首先选择了我们，是圣灵首先的做工啊。当然，我们有时候会称之为加文主义。Now there's another thing, you know. Again, I don't want to be harsh, and I don't want to offend people. Uh, but uh, <coughs> a lot of the churches that I have attended do not agree with me. I, I, you know, I can live with that. But、um, pastors' training in the office and the preaching. I have a problem with that. Ah,、uh, 说这个，呃，就是当然我，我我对这一点可能会在很多教会可能不会同意我,我上面这个说法，但是，呃，但是我当然我不会特别的，呃，严格的啊、呃、来讲这一点啊。另外一个问题呢，我我就会觉得这个所造成的这个西方教会的问题，就是关于牧师的这个训练的问题。See, I believe the old covenant with Israel is gone. They broke the covenant, and they get the curse. Um, so、um, you know, everybody's against that. The, the Jews have, if you read in in the Book of Moses, what the penalties were for breaking the the, co the、uh, covenant with God. It seems that the Jews have earned that. Not all, but God always has a remnant of His people through the the, the, the history. But Saint Peter in First and Second Peter letters, he says we are a nation now of priests. Not pastors and laymen, priests, and he says we are a noble priesthood. So we, what does a priest do in the new covenant? Uh, so, so, uh, in these, uh, he he talks about the modern training for the pastors, that is, causing, uh, the church, uh, for the Jewish people, uh, they would generally think that, uh, because the Jews violated the Moses. 所讲到这些约，所以他们是应该是受受主的，呃，但是可能这个肯博士可能会有一些不同的观点，他认为，呃，这个在新约当中，呃，彼得前后书所讲到的这个上帝的子民是被、呃、造就成这个呃，就是祭司的国度啊，而而不是呃牧师和这些平信徒的国度，所以我们要怎么看看待这个问题呢 ？Yes. So too often pastors. See their office as the head, rather than a priest. And Jesus, when he put the great commission to the apostles before he rose to heaven, he said, "I don't want you to be a master over people. I want you to be a servant, servant leadership." Um. So, now, many of the 呃，牧师看待他们职分的时候，嗯，他们并没有像呃耶稣基督所指示的那样，耶、嗯、耶稣基督呃、嗯、希望他们成为一个仆人式的领导。Yes. Um. So I, I, you know, God bless the pastors. I'm not really here to criticize the American pastors that much, but I do think there's too much of an ass,、uh, emphasis on their authority. 呃，我我我我不想太多的批评美国的这些牧师，但是我认为他们过多的强调他们个人性的权柄，而不是一种仆人式的服侍的一种态度。So, um, 
that's enough about the pastors and preaching, but I created a three, three day course on servant leadership, which I gave in uh, Peru and Paraguay and in, uh, West Africa. And, uh, it, you know, it, the leaders are supposed to be the servants of all, just like even, you know, and everybody's a priest. Everybody's a servant. What do priests do? They pray for each other. They uphold people before the throne of grace, themselves included. Uh, I want to talk more one of the things we need to do, the last point here, we need to understand, we need to get thin. We need to not have spiritual weight. You know, I stand behind this doctrine and that doctrine, and this is right and you're wrong. And no, God, God help us. God have mercy on us. Remember, Jesus said, straight is the path and narrow is the gate. And there's a lot of people going to come at the last day to the gate and they're going to have a tough time getting through. They're going to have to leave a lot of weight, a lot of luggage at the golden door, you know. Uh, so what do you mean of the spiritual weight? This is an important. Well, well, if, if I pound the table and said, unless you believe this, because the Bible says so, and I say the Bible says so, you're not a good Christian. Okay. Uh, we see in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, that Paul was saying they had divided up into groups, and we're not supposed to do that. You know, I'm from Paul, I'm from Peter, I'm from Jesus, I'm from Apollos. 所以我们看到这个《哥林多前书》保罗也讲到，你会发现人们是按照他们所跟从的这些教导的人来分分他们的这个呃就分门别类的啊，我是跟随保罗的，我是跟随亚波罗的。Yes. Okay, that's 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 just my only thought. I need to be very humble and not be pounding the table with my understanding always. Because we. Yeah, I know that sometimes I am mistaken about things. And I can get a note from my wife if anybody needs that. Uh, that's a joke. I, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so you 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 mean uh, what you mean about your note, your wife? Sorry. Uh, well, she can she can she can give anybody a list when I was wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, I understand. 就是他的意思说，呃，在这点上，我们可可以来问问我们的妻子，就是我们的妻子会给我们列出一大堆，呃，我们犯错误的地方，所以我们每个人都要谦卑，我们身边的人其实很多时候更了解我们是个什么样的
He's so we, dressed in great robes. Yeah, we we sometimes read this when we read the Epistles because of the Epistles' kind of interpretation of the Epistles. In the Church, there is also. We may not read it because we are not able to read it. We may give up. 啊、我们看到这个，呃，举个例子都，我们看见这个起书当中，这个耶稣基督的形象是一个，呃，大的掌权者。We we are troubled because we don't realize that it's in the language of the first century, poetic language. So, uh, here is Christ with a sword in his mouth, riding a white horse. If that vision was, if that vision was given today, perhaps he would hold a great rifle and be at the head of an armored column. 所以我们不懂的原因呢，是因为我们不太了解这种启示文学。呃，所以当我们看见这个耶稣基督啊，口中有剑，骑着白马的时候，其实我们可以转换一下这个形象。这个形象如果放在今天的话，可能就是呃，耶稣基督手手里拿拿了一个步步枪，然后啊，带领的这个装备齐全的这个这个部队，就大概是这样的形象。我们可以转换一下，就了解到他们这个启示录在讲什么。Yes， it's a way. To explain to first-century Christians who are concerned that they're being defeated, that Christ is powerful and in charge, and we are here to serve and to suffer. We American Church doesn't like to suffer. We're successful if we're not suffering. So, uh, 之所以启示录有这样的一种描述，是因为启示录的当时的教会是在这样的呃巨大的逼迫当中。所以教会的众信徒呢，会认为他们好像被击败了。所以这呃，这个起诉当中要描写一个耶稣基督这种得胜的场景来啊、呃，提醒他们耶稣基督的啊、呃、掌权和这样的大能。而今天呢，美国教会看上去是呃没有失败，看我们看上去非常成功啊，这是一种反讽的一种说法。Next slide, please. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, there's a good book by John Pokinghorn. He he has uh, two PhDs, one in physics and one in theology, and uh, he wrote a book called "The God of Hope and the End of the World." Yale University Press. It's worth looking at. Ah, I'll give you a book. Ah, called John Pokinghorn. He wrote a book called "The God of Hope and the End of the World." Yale University Press. It's worth looking at. Ah, I'll give you a book. Ah, called John Pokinghorn. He wrote a book So <clears throat> there is a vision there in Revelation 21 verses 1 through 4 of a new heaven and a new earth. <clears throat> One word to study <clears throat> me, through scripture is restore, restore, because God has promised to restore what has happened. 如果我们呃用一个词儿来描述的话，就是恢复。上帝要恢复啊，所有的这天地，他的创造。So born again, excuse me, born again Christians will not need political or economic systems, but will grow in an eternal process of find the finite feeding on the infinite. 所以呃，基督徒的。重生不需要任何的政治的啊经济的这样的一种体系或者这种建制，而是我们要在这呃这种一种永恒的就一直持续的成长的这样的一个过程当中啊，这个过程呢是由啊上帝这样啊无限的这样一个存在所供应给我们这种无限的一种啊属灵的喂养。So the world, the world without God. <coughs> Try something like a transhumanism, but we are going to go far beyond human 2.0. 所以这个世界呢，就像我前面所提到的，这个世界越来越疯狂，要所谓的新人类啊，就转变人类的一样的计划，要使我们成为所谓的人类 2.0。我们要呃，我我们要远离这些的事情。And we are learning how to do that now. 我们现在就要学习该如何的做。For instance, the way we pray now. 呃，举个例子，呃，我们该如何祷告呢 ？I don't think we need to pray 
to explain to God things that are known to Him. Uh, yeah, Father, you know everything that's happening to me, and you know the solution, and I ask your help in this. But I don't have to pray that this happens or that happens necessarily. Because I don't want something that maybe is not in God's plan for me. 对, 所以我们一个很重要的, 在神面前谦卑的祷告, 就是说, 上帝你知道所有的事, 而不是说我要知道, 我要了解下一个发生的事情。我去掌控这些事。老师,上帝你知道? Yes. We don't need to beg. We don't need to beg God for something, because He knows what we need. And, 我们并不需要一个比上帝更大的啊，或者说了解了掌控比上帝更多的这样的一个事情，或者呃一个追求，因为上帝知道所有的事。So um, we can rely upon him as a father. Think of how we would treat our son or daughter. How we would uh, be very careful that uh, they were okay. And he, he knows he knows what we need. 所以我们不需要依靠这些。知识，呃，所以或者说这个世界给我们的依靠，我们要依靠上帝。我们依靠的上帝的方式是依靠这层关系。呃，上帝是我们的天赋，我们想一想，做父母的人是如何对待他的子女的，我们就应该呃信任上
uh, eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has prepared for those who love him. And Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. Place is very important to us, isn't it? I go to, it's going to be my place, our place. So we need to remember this beautiful, very 给我们带来盼望的应许，就是耶稣基督说：“我去为你们预备地方。”而这个地方是眼睛未曾看见，耳朵未曾听见的，就是没有世世上世上没有人看见过的好。呃，这、就是、呃、预备给那些爱上帝之人的。我们一定要嗯、呃、时常时常的谨记这样美好的应许。Yes. Now I think you have one last slide. Ah,、uh, no, I think it's the last slide.、Yeah. That's the last one. Okay. Well, um.、Uh... Let me tell you the story then that, that would go with the last slide.、Um, I, I have served in the American military, and、uh, part of the benefits that I get, I get a free、uh, grave to be buried in, as they have a military cemetery that I can go to and, and be buried for free. And they have、uh, servicemen come and play taps, you know, the horns and all that. And、uh, so I went up to see where mine was, and、uh, my daughter took me up there, and we looked at a particular gravestone. And one of the things that I was so sad about was the the writings that people put on it. You get three lines to put on. You know, first first it says you know you were a Christian or whatever, and then it says、uh, what service you were in. I was in the Navy, and then they say.、Uh, Uh, what when you were born and when you die, and uh, then uh, you have a few words, you few words that you can put in, and everybody, all the graves that I walk them up, people, my fellow servicemen and all that, they just they didn't, didn't say anything about the Lord, no Bible verses. Okay, ah,、uh, 那个 Ken 最后他做做一个小见证，也是他的故事，因为他以前是服务于呃美军的，应该是海军。呃，他们有一个政府的福利，就是呃，会给他们免费提供一个墓地，所以他跟他的女儿可能就曾经去看过他呃，将来这个墓地，因为旁边还有很多其他的这个军军人的墓地，所以每个这个墓碑上呢，可能有三行字，会记录他们的一些啊、呃、生平、一些简历、简介。但他发现呢，很遗憾的是，呃，很多人他所看见的这些墓碑上的字呢，几乎没有任何跟上帝相关的信息。Yes. So I I lay down on the grave that's going to be mine on the grass, just laid on the grass. My daughter took a picture of me, and I was waving, laying down on my. So he he 走到将来可能会成为他这个墓地的地方，他就是在草地上，所以他就就就就躺在那儿，然后他的这个女儿给他拍张照片。Because、uh, I'm going to put the line. The lines of mine are going to be not that.、Uh, Uh, he he was a good husband, or this or that, or you know, or a bad husband, or whatever. Uh, but uh, what I'm going to put on mine, gone to glory. In other words, I'm not here. That's just my body. I've gone. Glory is a word that means significance, and that's what we have. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of the saints. Hmm. 所以，呃，如我在想，如果我我来写写我这个墓碑上写我的生平的话，我可能不会像一般人写啊，他，呃，生前是个好丈夫等等，对，都可能我也不是，呃，他他会说，呃，他将进入到荣耀当中啊，他他认为这个荣耀是非常重要的一个词，他是他他是，呃，代表的一种呃，永恒性和无限性。Yes, please. Now we know that God will give us all good things. And、uh, the second line is going to say,、uh, "Christ died for me." 我知道啊，上帝给我们的非嗯所有的好好处都不在上帝以外，他给我们所有的好东西。所以我第二行可能会写，耶稣基督为我而死。Thank you, Jesus. John three sixteen is the third and last line. 对，所以最后他说啊，我要谢谢耶稣基督，然后说他的这个最终的年纪等等。So that's the way that's the way people used to do it in the old graveyards that are here in New England, where I am. And、uh, but that's what I want to do. I want to have something like that there, where it's a, it's a witness, and、uh, I want to uh, 
I want my son to speak at my funeral and I want to uh, sing hymns, praise the Lord. And uh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of the saints. So I've asked that God, the Lord would give me many, many more years to serve and to suffer. And uh, I thank him for all he has done for me. So, uh, but these are just some of the things that I've thought about. And, uh, and you know, I, I just offer them to you as a, uh, as a potential for you to, uh, to uh, think about and maybe, uh, you know, go your own way. One last thing. And uh, all good things. God will give me all good things. And we should pray for things. Lord, I'd like, you know, not a new car in heaven or anything like that. But how about an eternal wife? Can I hear the cheers? So he said, 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 he 他认为这是一个非常非常好的一个见证。嗯，说如果他最后他的孩子为他做做这个导师的话，他可能会希望他们来写看他的一生啊，最终嗯，可能有点类似保罗所说的吧，就是嗯，经受了这样的suffering，这
对，这个大概是就是我啊今天讲座的整体的内容。嗯